If you have tried changing recipes countless times and you don't just seem to get it, don't worry, this is your bus stop. I will be showing you how to get this perfect texture of chick chick. Keep watching ahead. Hello beautiful people, how is it going? Welcome to the channel Cooking with Claudie, a channel of no fail recipes, a channel of fail proof recipes. If you're new here, a very big welcome to you, to my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for all the support. And today I will be showing you how to make Ching Ching recipe step by step and a beginner friendly tutorial. But if you haven't yet subscribed, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And trust me, any recipe I drop here, you're definitely going to love them. So today, don't worry, this recipe is going to be a quick one. And trust me, you will love it. You will just from the texture of that Ching Ching, you're going to love it. For the ingredients right here, we have some eggs, nutmeg for flavor, or for flavor you can use lemon zest or vanilla. I have some salt, sweetened condensed milk. For the condensed milk, I will be giving you a substitution if you don't have it. Magic baking powder, I just baking powder, some butter, all-purpose flour, water, to, that's water just to mix my condensed milk because it's the condensed milk is really thick with some sugar. So right now in that bowl of water i will be measuring one quarter cup of condensed milk to mix with my water but if you don't have condensed milk you can use liquid milk i will be dropping the all the ingredients in the description box and the substitution for the condensed milk but i love using condensed milk because the flavor is so beautiful also nice when it comes to ching ching and also the sugar content for it like it just saves you money from buying sugar if you're using condensed milk but right now the sweetness is just okay but just add a little bit of sugar just to make everything even put in the eggs then mix accordingly until well combined So like I said, I'll just add a little bit of sugar in there, just like one teaspoon to just make it a little bit sweeter. And here I will now add my flour and mix with butter. Mix the flour and the butter until you have a crumpy texture before you can then bring in the wet ingredients. So it's looking so good. I'll just add my salt, my baking powder, and my nutmeg for flavor. When I mix everything, then I will then combine the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients and mix perfectly. You have to mix until you have a well combined dough. For ching ching, your dough is not supposed to be sticky. You're supposed to have like a hard dough so that everything is going to come out perfectly so now the tip is if you made your ching ching and it's so sticky very soft keep adding flour until you have a perfect perfect texture just keep watching ahead and i will show you how your ching ching is supposed to look like after mixing this is how hard it's supposed to be when i say hard it's not like to be hard like a stone this is how hard it's supposed to be after mixing you see that that's the texture you are supposed to achieve to give you that perfect melt in your mouth ching ching recipe so now I will just cut it and start beginning to cut my ching ching according to the styles or the sizes I want. There are many different kinds of ways to cut ching ching. I have another video where I made the different styles to cut ching ching. I will drop the link in the description box for you to check it out. So spread out the dough, then cut the ching ching according to the sizes you want.
so it's looking so beautiful now those are the sizes i want i'm just going to start defrying so there's the here is another important point as soon as you drop that chinching inside that hole you will start seeing the reaction immediately your chinching will start like rising it start expanding that's when you know that you have achieved a perfect changing okay now look at this as soon as it gets into the fire it has to start it has to start expanding then it has to be at the top of the oil if your changing stays at the bottom of the pot there is a problem so that's why i said this recipe is what you should definitely try so now i will be cutting my changing in another shape while the other changing is cooking i will be cutting this in another different shape because today i'll be doing two shapes so now it's looking so good it's so brown it has that golden brown color look at that that's how your changing is supposed to be so guys you, this is one recipe you will definitely want to try out and when you try out do not hesitate to come and let me know how it turned out and don't forget to also follow me on instagram because i post recipes like this on instagram and on instagram i post recipes every day so now for the second batch of frying i will be adding that inside the oil too and as usual like the other one before it just comes to the top of the oil it's looking so beautiful just take it out when it is golden brown you look at that then you have achieved a perfect ching ching so guys this is the no fair recipe i got for you all today i hope you will get to try this and trust me guys when i try this it's a melt in your mouth like it is not strong as soon as you just crush on it with your teeth it just crush crushes easily it's so so good and i'll call this a melt in your mouth changing a fail proof changing a no fail changing recipe so if you know my mom like those of you those of you know me very well you know my history my mom and changing my mom made the best changing in boya so this is my mom's recipe i inherited to show you guys how to make it so guys thank you so much for watching we've come to the end of this video and i hope that you grabbed or learned something until we meet again in my next video bye for now keep trusting my recipes drop a comment like share until we meet again in my next video bye for now